Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, I've not said this. It's so 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 long. Uh, I know it's been a hot minute since I've been uh, available on YouTube. It's been I think four to five months. I'm not really sure. But I don't want to say a lot before the before I get into this video. I just want to say a huge huge thank you to everyone who subscribed, everyone who's been so so supportive on Instagram regarding my health and my absence, and uh, everybody who's a new subscriber in these four months because I know it's like grown from I left it at two thousand and today I think we are close to five thousand subscribers. So thank you so so much. I'm very grateful. Even though I was not putting out videos and content, I was definitely watching everything from behind the scenes. Things have been really really crazy back in my life, like in the real world. Uh, so I just wanted to put everything aside since the year has come to an end. It's the end of another year, and uh, I wanted to put out one video before this year ends, thanking all of you all and putting all the bad and negativity behind me. And like starting afresh before we take over 2019. So as from the title of the video, you can probably tell that it's makeup, best makeup of 2018 or something of that lines. I'm gonna name this. It's mostly my makeup favorites. What I've used maximum in the year 2018, and like could not keep my hands off of it. Like even if I was not putting out videos in the last four months, I definitely have loved makeup been buying makeup using makeup in the past four months so I have a lot of new favorites that you might not be aware of so let's dive into the video okay so let's start with how we do our makeup routine some of this is going to remain the same if you're old and old OG subscriber you probably know this stuff so I'm gonna like breeze through all of this the first one is this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the pore minimizing one. I know this comes with a very very high price tag, it, it's priced around 3000 rupees but it's worth every penny. It's been over a year that I've had this and every time I apply makeup I take very very little of this and just apply on my T-zones and my oily regions and it works miraculously. This combination of products that I will put in today's video, you can trust on it if you're an oily skin person. You can definitely go for this whole base combination routine for weddings, from birthdays, for other people's weddings, even for bridal tutorials if you're a bride who wants to do your own makeup. Because I sweat like a pig when I dance and I sweat a lot on my face. Even if I dab my makeup off, my makeup does not come off, only the sweat comes off. So this is like a transfer proof foolproof wedding makeup stuff okay because I've attended a lot of weddings and parties in the last month of December so I know that I know this routine works for me and would obviously work for other oily skin types as well and that's what I'm hoping so definitely this primer is the primer of the year for me next diving into foundation I think it's been a year now that I have this foundation and I've not liked it that much when I initially got it, I had a lot of ups and downs with this foundation. It's the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 370 Warm. And I have a couple of uh, high-end foundations and I've gone back and forth with this one. But over the past months, I've realized that this one works best for me without giving me any breakouts, without making my foundation look like foundation. Like today, I have really gone full glam because it's been a hot minute on YouTube. So I didn't want to show that, you know, I've forgotten makeup. But uh, even if I'm going for something subtle, you can definitely build this foundation up. And I have a lot of scarring, so a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. It's been over, year, over a year and I've not gotten completely over with this bottle. So I think it's worth the money. Again, it's $40 but definitely definitely worth the money when it comes to base products i think you should invest in good stuff invest your money in your base products your makeup will always look flawless whatever goes on your eyes and lips can be altered and can be duped but you can't really dupe when it comes to the formula of your base products so that foundation is the foundation of the year for me next diving into concealers i have two and both are drugstore so they are also worth the money drugstore you're not going to pay much this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal which is priced at about 450 bucks and on sale you can get it for more cheaper rates and this is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer I have definitely loved, used and abused this concealer because it's totally over and I forgot to even order this this time when relatives are coming from abroad 
so I don't have any more of this concealer it's like totally over so I have to throw this in the bin but I really 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 loved and enjoyed this one in this year this is the shade golden 40 but uh, you might want to check with their shades because after I purchased this concealer they extended their shade range and now I think they have more stuff when it comes to the LA Girl Pro Conceal, I'm in the shade medium beige or pure beige? Medium beige, medium beige. My sister is in pure beige. Uh, so this is also very, very good. This is like probably my fifth or sixth tube of this concealer and even this one's like totally over. So I need to buy a new one of this. So this is very easily available in the market. Uh, if you have like really, really deep under eyes, I don't recommend this because when it comes to coverage, it's not very very full proof but it very well sinks into your skin and merges with your foundation very nicely so it gives a very natural looking skin i don't suffer from very dark under eyes really my eyes are really small and my eye area is not my huge problem my skin is my biggest problem so when it comes to concealer if you have deep dark under eyes i suggest you use a corrector with it or you will go directly for the maybelline age rewind concealer in the drugstore <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the Maybelline Age Rewind since they do not have my shade. So please don't ask me in the comments what do you feel your shade is because after swatching in the stores I did not find my shade so I don't know if they make too many shades in India as, as of now. Next diving into powder and like I said my powder and my primer are the A game changing game for my makeup this year. And that has to be the Laura Mercier powder. This is amazing guys. You need to have this in your life. After all the YouTubers raving about it, since the time I have seen YouTube, now I feel like, oh my God, I was missing out in life when I got this. It makes your makeup look flawless. Your under eyes, your skin, everything is going to look flawless. Your makeup will last for 24, 48 hours if you want it to, through weddings, through sweating, through everything through stage and it looks good in pictures no flashback nothing at all just comes in one shade so you have no shade issues as well it's just the uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder for uh, $40 definitely expensive but definitely worth every every penny you pay for this and you pay for this primer and you can like forget your makeup for one year you won't need anything else and I think this $80 is definitely worth it Next, diving into bronzer, uh, the NYX bronzer has become my ultimate favorite. Uh, this is the NYX, um, what is it called, matte bronzer in the shade medium. Uh, the shade medium does really well for me. I don't think I need to go a shade light darker. Uh, so for my skin tone, if you're my skin tone, I think this would work really, really well. It's the perfect undertone and I've spoken about it before. It blends like a dream. It's very pigmented but not so much that you'd overdo it. So I think this one's definitely bang on of the price and NYX is definitely affordable. Um, next for blush, I've spoken about this one before. I know it's not in a proper packaging. This I got this as a freebie when I shopped so much on Colourpop. This is the Colourpop um, Tulip to Quit Blush. It's their pressed powder blush. And this color right here, if you can tell, is a very, very pretty color. I'm gonna give you all a quick swatch of it. I don't know if you can see on my skin but it's very rosy pinky and with a little bit of a brown undertone I don't know if you could probably tell but everything that I'm talking about is on my face right now so it's the blush I'm wearing right now it's the bronzer I'm wearing right now everything that I'm wearing right now is what I'm talking about so this blush I have previously mentioned in my other videos but anybody who's a new subscriber or a new viewer the Colourpop Tulip to Quit blush is something I have used Every time I'm in doubt with a makeup look that I don't know which blush will match my eye look or my lips, this is it. Like, I don't have to think twice with this blush. Okay, so for highlighter, the Nykaa Glow Getter Highlighters, this is what I have chosen. I went back and forth with the Maybelline Master Chrome or this one, but I think this is it because this gives you everything, you know, this gives you a little glam, it gives you full-blown glam when you're going for weddings. It sinks so beautifully into the skin, like this is all I have, both the colors mixed on my skin right now. And the way it glows, like I can't get over it. Like in natural light, it looks amazing. In weddings, it looks amazing. So I definitely think if you are wanting to invest any product from Nykaa, the Nykaa Cosmetics range, their highlighters are bang on, bang on formula, bang on for the money. 
definitely worth a try is the Nyka Glow Getter Highlighter. Um, another highlighter I want to mention is the NYX Liquid Illuminator. It's the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Pure Gold. If you're my skin tone and you don't like makeup a lot but you want that inner glow goddess type of vibe whenever you step out of the house, I think this highlighter would definitely be something you would like because um, I just put mascara, lipstick and I put a little bit of this highlighter with my fingers, spread it on my cheekbones, my nose and it gives such a nice sheeny sort of glow that I'm like totally in love with this, in love with how it looks because when I was unwell and I could not do a lot of makeup I was going just with this mascara and lipstick everywhere I went so this is how it is and once you blend it, it's not too much in your face, it's more like a subtle glow. It does not have chunky glitter in it, it will just like give your skin a light, nice shine if you may. That's, that's how I would explain it and the shade pure gold would suit dusky skin girls. So this is another product which I've used a lot this year. Um, the Pack Micro Finish Makeup Fixer and the NYX Dewy Finish makeup fixer both of these are my ultimate not the combination of these this one i've actually finished because i use a lot of this i don't realize when i go overboard with this even though it's a big bottle i've actually completed this in one or two months uh, and now this one i'm on the second bottle and i can hear this also getting over so makeup fixing spray definitely need a lot with the dewy one you can go a little overboard too quick but it definitely makes your makeup last a really really long time so this one I really suggest and it's priced at 875 bucks but NYX goes on discount quite a lot of times so I think that's the time you buy it from the NATCA website because they are not available in any stores anymore they've shut down all of their uh, outlets and now only the they are available only online I think and the MAC pack micro finish makeup fixer is also somewhere around that range it's for 850 so they are actually the same price but you're getting a lot more with this but i feel you don't realize this has like an aerosol mist you know this is like really soft and oh i love the smell of this it's such a nice product i'm gonna keep it so i remember that i have to buy a new bottle because the smell the finish you can never go overboard like i said and definitely makes your makeup last a long time as well so we are done with the base products here, let's dive into eyes and lips, my favourite category. Uh, you know when I want to spend my money, I spend my money on eyeshadows and lipsticks. Uh, but I like affordable stuff as well, like I like affordable eyeshadows and even though I love and have used a lot of my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette, it's used and abused. If you look at that palette now, you will feel like yes, I have got worth my money from it. The Colourpop Yes Please palette, the cute AF palette, it's also very very dirty and very very used is the palette on my eyes right now. Uh, this is very warm toned and even though it's winter in Mumbai as of now, most of the year it's summer and I'm more in the colour warm toned girl you know so I like my reds, I like my yellows and I like my warm tones more so that is all available in this palette also the pigmentation and the formula of this palette I wouldn't say I like it more than the Jaclyn Hill it is more talky and more how do I explain more powdery these are how the mattes are and they are very very pigmented very easy to work with so never doubt even the shimmers I'm just gonna give a quick swatch of this shimmer they are all very easy to work with you will not doubt the formula at all what I like about this is if you're a beginner into makeup you will find it very easy to work with colourpop eyeshadows because you won't you won't end up putting too much and looking like a clown you know like immediately looking like a clown because who starts into makeup and I have done my fair share of mistakes uh, that I, you don't end up blending really really well so when you have really pigmented eyeshadows like the Jaclyn Hill palette, you can't blend them very well. But these are a little powdery. So you might like, for example, like with this brown, if I blend it, it will get a little lighter. And then if you've made a mistake, you can easily correct it with these eyeshadows. Plus the color combination in this palette, the Yes Please palette is one of my favorites. And in the wedding season, especially Indian weddings, and like just to go out and all I would just smoke out a little bit of yellow on my lower lash line put mascara and go out there are different colors as well there is like orange and a bright yellow which I've put in my inner corner right now so I've put this 
bright yellow in my inner corner and then topped it with this yellow shimmery shimmer in my inner corner and put this color all over my lips so it looks very very pretty as you can see I've not put any lashes because I'm not going anywhere I'm gonna take this off so yeah that's that that's the palette of the year for me because I feel a lot of y'all watching my videos want affordable options are beginners so I wanted to give y'all that as an option I love all the eyeshadow palettes I own because I make use of every one of them equally Coming to eyeliner, this eyeliner, uh, I have tried so many guys but I cannot get enough of this. The Lakme Absolute Shine Line Eyeliner has to be the eyeliner of the year, of the decade, of, of since I've known eyeliners because I have tried so many since I came into YouTube. I was like, you know, I want to give my subscribers options but nothing matches up to how good this is, how easy to use, how easy it is to draw a wing, how effortlessly I can work with this and all of my friends, even the ones who are not into makeup, still own this one product. Like this is a patent in all of our bags and that's this Lakme eyeliner. Very very inexpensive after discount, I usually pick this up for 250 bucks, so definitely worth the money and I will not like replace this for any other I think in the upcoming years unless I find some real real hidden gem this one is it for me uh, in mascaras I have two options actually this one has to be it for me the Essence Lash Princess Mascara but I feel like they have discontinued this and that's so upsetting but I'm not gonna rant too much about this I love the finish of this this is what is on my eyes right now on my lashes right now love how it looks i got the second this is my second bottle my first one got over because i use mascara on a daily basis so my second tube my friend got it for me from mascara because i could not find it anywhere even when i went to dubai i did not get this mascara per se uh, from sn so she got this for me and she also said that they just had two left so uh, she feels like even they are shutting down even from mascara so that's a really sad thing. Since the Essence one is not so easily available now, uh, I have given the NYX What The Hype to y'all as an option because I purchased this sometime back and I really really like the finish this mascara gives. It's not too clumpy on two coats and very voluminous and after three coats it gets clumpy and even more voluminous so I stick to two coats and uh, it's washable but still maintains your curl and the finish of a waterproof mascara in a washable one so very good for daily basis girls who use mascara every day this one is something you should add to your cart next i will go for lashes uh, these are the glomier beauty lashes uh, so these i have in two i have the style starlet and i have the style soho soho is their best selling eyelash and this I think is an indie brand it's a very very small but very very good company their products are really genuine and very nice this is not sponsored and she's not it's not PR I have paid and purchased this so it's my honest review and even if it was PR it would be my honest review but these eyelashes look beautiful they are very very good looking like you will feel beautiful when you wear these eyelashes and uh, these two styles have been it for me in the last wedding season the style soho is very dramatic so with a good dramatic eye look this would make your eyes look gorgeous and the style scarlet is a little like simple but if your eye look is very shimmery and you want your eyes to pop more than your lashes that's what you would go for uh, i definitely recommend that you'll check glomia beauty out because i like their products i think they are a little expensive but I think that's because it's a small brand trying to expand they don't sell anywhere except I'm actually not very sure she works her Instagram page and she works an online website very easy to order on the website so definitely check them out worth it if you're into eyelashes if you're a makeup artist or if you're just a girl like who likes makeup and wants to buy eyelashes you should buy at least one of these and then see for yourself and they're very easy to apply as well their band is very thin so very very easy to apply okay so some more eye stuff uh, since I've been talking so much about weddings and in India you can't really escape them and if you want to look like glamorous and really sparkly on the eyelid or just for your birthday or maybe the festive season now that Christmas is coming and now that Diwali just went the Colourpop Supernova shadows are something you should have in your collection. Uh, I know Colourpop I have mentioned a lot. If you want to get your hands on Colourpop stuff, I will mention a website here. And down in the description section, it's an Instagram page as well. 
they very well handle their stuff they sell international makeup on their website and they are not very expensive as as well i have gotten these from their website for i think 700 bucks each so i think it's very inexpensive this is the supernova shadow in the shade walk of fame can you see how sparkly it is and this is the shade uh, heard to hard to impress hard to impress So these are the two shades I have and I have gone back and forth with this. This I had worn on Diwali and this I had worn for my sis friend's sister's engagement. And I wear these quite a lot. I sometimes just add it to my inner corner, sometimes all over the lid. You can use them as an eyeliner. Very, very good stuff. Good quality stuff. Very easy to work with again. And uh, they work like the Stila Magnificent Metal Eyeshadows if you're familiar with that. But like quarter the price of that. So the lipsticks I have with me, y'all know, let's say all, let's all of us say it together when it comes to the red lipstick category, the wet and wild, missy and fierce lipstick has to be it. Uh, now that I wear red lipstick, my subscribers just come at me saying that, you know, we knew that you would wear this because this is actually the only red lipstick I own at this point because I've given away all other red lipsticks to relatives and to my sister and somebody or the other because I don't use them and I, do, I don't want to just hold makeup in my cupboard I don't have space left so uh, this one has to has to be the formula the color the undertone everything very very flattering very me and I just love red lipstick I think it adds so much to my look to my face to my mood oh my god I can wear a red lipstick and go from 0 to 100 in like like this so a red lipstick has to be it and a good red lipstick is everything. It will never give up on you. So uh, the Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce. Very inexpensive, very worth it and the best liquid lipstick formula I have tried hands on from the drugstore. If you're an OG subscriber, you know how much I have raved and raved about the Color Bar Hot Latte lipstick. But now I think there's a replacement also because I have lost my hot latte. I don't know where I keep my stuff and don't find it ever again. There's like this black hole in my room where things go and never come back. Uh, so I had to buy a new nude lipstick and this is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Exotic. Uh, I don't have space left for swatching anymore. Uh, I'm not wearing this right now but this lipstick is what I have worn non-stop in this month you know not not even in this month this is always in my bag this is what's on my lips every day to college this is like my everything without makeup this looks the best nude on my lips if i have selfies from college i will insert how all of these lipsticks look on my skin and on my skin tone so that you know uh, because i'm not swatching them right now uh, this is a more warm red undertone and looks very good on dusky skin tone so let's compare to hot latte hot latte was more mauveish more rosy this one i would definitely say is more brick more brick undertone so i like both of them and i still love hot latte and still recommend it a lot i just made my aunt buy it for herself but this one has taken it for me this past couple of months this is all i've been using so nyx lip lingerie in exotic and the final one has to be the cat D everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade lolita 2 this was a lipstick i got from dubai this is the best 90 dirhams i have spent in my life <laughs> i have to say that because this is the lipstick on my lips right now um, the formula of this is bang on like any any nude any lips liquid lipstick i'm wearing i try to top it off try to top that lipstick off with this because the formula is so good and it'll last me through a wedding through food through everything and I eat like a savage but still this lasts so I love it and also like the applicator is good you get a good amount it costs $20 but that's the price of all Sephora lipsticks and I think the, this formula is it as compared to exotic it's more neutral and again like I said this is more rosy this is more rosy and this is more brick so you can tell the difference it's the most neutral nude i have in my collection and when it comes to neutral nudes without makeup they tend to wash me out so this one also does so i like to use a lip liner underneath but when i'm wearing it with full face makeup it just completes the look with a bold eye look this lipstick is everything and i love bold eye looks and subtle lipsticks so this has to be the lipstick i've worn maximum in the wedding season
Next, I have to mention the lip liner, the only nude lip liner I own and love. This is the Faces Lip Contour in the shade Cafe Latte. I'm going to swatch it here and it's been a hot minute since I've had this and I've not mentioned it ever on my channel. But I love this lip, lip liner a lot. You can see it was a tall one and I've sharpened and used quite a lot of this. I use it under any lipstick that I would feel would wash me out and with nude lipsticks and dusky skin, a lot of lipsticks can wash you out. So having a dark brown lip liner with you at all times is what can save your day. You can just outline with this and then fill in with the lighter nude lipstick and you, your look will be complete. So this face's lip contour, very long lasting, very beautiful, very creamy, it's a sharpenable pencil but it's very creamy in texture so I love the formula and I love this color Cafe Latte is this color so that's all I have for this video uh, thank you so much for watching thank you for everything you guys uh, you all mean a lot to me you all mean the world to me and um, I think this is the time that I would say you should ring on the bell if you subscribe to my channel because I'm not going to keep up with the routine anymore. Uh, I know that's a wrong thing and a negative thing for me to say when it comes to uh, maintaining my channel but I know the kind of stress I took to maintain the two videos a week uh, schedule and it took a toll on my health, it took a toll on everything in my life that was going on. So I'm not going to do that to myself anymore. I will try my best to do one video a week. But if that does not happen, uh, ring on the bell. This is the correct time to click on that notification bell. So you get notified when there's a video. And if you want to watch, you can always just search, uh, look my name up and then search if there's a new video. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. So I know that I was really missed. And uh, Subscribe to my channel if you're new year. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good year and welcome 2019 with a smile. Despite all the hardships that have been in 2018, there's been ups and there's been downs and I'm sure there has been one in everybody's life. Whatever it was, let's welcome 2019 with a big, big smile and let's see what it has in it for us. Uh, thank you. I love you all and a happy new year. Mwah.